This video is about a repeat cut function called Eltrotakt. Whenever you have things like business cards, labels, postcards, it is a very, very useful function and will make um, programming easier and the cutting program quite shorter as when you would use absolute values instead of this repeat cut function. So to show you how this works, I will create a, a program for postcards. So let's take this sheet here as an example. You see it looks quite easy and simple. The only small disadvantage is maybe you have spotted already that there are differences in the size of the double cuts. There are small double cuts and wider double cuts. So first of all, I'm starting the program overview and I'm um, creating a new program. So new cut program and I'm typing in a new name for this new program. So postcards would be a good name for it. Enter and opening the empty program. So now as you can see we have an empty program and we can start programming. So yeah, many ways lead to Rome. Um, I prefer the um, function which is very close to cut and record. I'm simply moving the back gauge to the first cut position which I want to program. So I'm moving now the back gauge to the position. First of all, I'm switching on the optical line light indicator to get an idea where I am. And I have the back gauge movement buttons here. I'm running the back gauge forward. So I get a, a small problem here now. I still the value 99 centimeter here. And the back gauge is on 64.743. So um, it's a little bit tricky to program now the correct value. And instead of typing the value in, I simply just have to switch on a special function to get the actual back gauge position. And this button here was the digital eight. When I enable that function, you see Instantly, there's always the same value here, and when I move the back gauge, I'm getting the actual value there. So now I'm going to the exact position where I have to go, where my cut mark is. First cut. The last tenth of a millimeter I'm moving with the hand wheel. So, wrong direction, so this looks better now, yeah, on spot. So I can store this to the program now. First of all, I'm adding some additional functions like air on. It's the first cut. I'm moving my ream in, so I need the air. Lay guide correction one and auto trim. If I have auto trim and uh, swivel back gauge, if I have swivel back gauge, I'm switching that on as well. I press enter. I'm not cutting at this position because that's a slight disadvantage sometimes. Think about it. If your cut marks for the other side are just on one side, I would cut them off. And when I turn my sheet, then they are gone. So I'm not doing the cut. I'm turning now counterclockwise because it's right side guide. Moving back edge now to the back. Coming closer to my cut position, doing a fine correction now to get on spot to my cut mark. Fine correction now. So that looks great now. I'm going to my additional functions, knife automat prepared. Air on I need because I have to turn my ream. Lay guide correction one, auto trim and turning back gauge. 
So that's all on that position. I don't need an ejector travel because my value is going to get bigger. So I'm getting from my polar an automatic ejector travel. So now I'm going to the third cut position. Um, to get my strips now a little bit wider and shorter, I'm not doing 90 degrees turn. Uh, instead, I'm doing a 180 degrees turn. And as you can see, I'm getting short strips instead of long strips and the strips are a little bit wider than in the other side. So no 90 degrees turn. Instead, I will do the 180 degrees turn. And now you see on the screen as well, the, my rim is turning now and now easy to spot shorter strips, wider strips. Yeah, I'm not moving my back gauge. I don't have to because I know the size of my postcards. I know the size of the double cuts. So I can calculate the position of the third cut. So my postcards are 21 0.5 centimeter and then we have two sizes of double cuts but let's start first with a 21.5 centimeter now to calculate that i can use a pocket calculator function times 4 86 centimeter now i have to add the double cuts two times seven millimeter is 1.4 and in the middle, I have a little bit wider. That's 1.6. Altogether, it's 3 centimeter. I have to add that. And this must be my third cut. If that cut wouldn't be on spot, uh, I would have to change the uh, cut position before that. So here I need as well knife automat prepared. Air on because I'm turning. And auto trim, yes, would make sense as well. Um, yeah, swivel back gauge doesn't make sense because I have to turn if that as well uh, already on the first cut before that. Now you can see that my dimension is getting smaller, so the machine is not making ejector travel. I have to do that manually. So to put in an additional value, I make a double click. I go to programmable ejector and then I have to put in a value and normally I'm always taking something around minus 30 centimeter because then it's out of the um, way from the small triangle side gauge. That's leading me to around about 55 centimeter. I'm switching the air on as well. After that I have my cut. That is all okay to me. And now we are coming to the ultratact sequence. It starts always with label size. Label size is 21.5 centimeter. As well, I'm adding additional functions, knife automat prepared. Yeah, nothing else is needed because I don't want to have the air. It would be um, bad because the pieces would be moving away from the back gauge. Now I need the number of the pieces. It's one postcard and after one postcard I have a double cut so something different from the size so one is the correct number I have to put in. Yeah then I have my double cut. Double cut is seven millimeter so 0.7 and as well knife automat prepared um, auto trim makes sense here and that's it enter 
it's one double cut, so one is correct, yes. So this could be everything, and then it would be minus 21. 0.5 minus 7 millimeter minus 21.5 and so on but unfortunately we have a wider double cut so i have to make the sequence a little bit longer i'm putting in as well 21.5 one yes enter and now i have the wider um, double cut and i've measured 1.6 and you see the machine already knows it. The machine is trying to guess, trying to calculate from the uh, starting of the sequence what would make sense. And uh, yeah, in this case, the machine has calculated 1.6 would be logical, would make sense. So it's uh, putting that in the display. I just take it one time and then as well, the machine again is suggesting something 21.5 would be logical for the machine and yes that's correct i just take it one is correct and again seven millimeters yes i can simply just take this and confirm it one time yeah that's correct yeah 21.5 that is the rest that's the uh, dimension behind the back cage. i don't have to program that that is the last piece there so I can switch that off because I need the absolute value. I have to turn my strips now. That was everything from cutting into strips. First step as well as an absolute position where I want to start and I can same game as on the other side. I can calculate that. One postcard is 9.7 centimeter. So I'm typing that in and times um, six. 58.2 centimeter and then I have my double cuts again the smaller one is 0 0.7 times 4 is 2.8 in the middle is 1.4 and then we have 4.2 in total so I'm adding all the double cuts plus 4.2 equals and 62.4 is my first initial cut position additional functions i would need knife automat prepared air table on because i'm turning my pieces auto trim and yeah that should be everything i'm tipping on the next line to add my ultratact sequence it's quite similar to what I've done before. Again, I'm, I'm using AltroTuck because my program is much shorter than if I would put in absolute values instead. And as well, the next advantage is I can clearly see how big my labels, my postcards whatsoever are. I can see clearly 21.5. That's my label size. They are all the same size. With absolute positions, this is much more difficult to spot. So first one, 9.7 9 centimeter. Knife prepared. Enter. It's one postcard. And then we have the double cut of 7 millimeter. 0.7. Enter one time. It's correct. I could do it the same way as on the other side, but this would be a little bit longer way because I have three pieces in a row. There's a quicker way to do this. I can go to total cuts and now I just have to count my cuts and put the value in. The machine is suggesting the full possible cuts that would be wrong because I have a changeover. So it's one, two, three, four, five cuts. Five cuts, and then I have to stop because then my wider double cut is coming. And the machine is already showing me where I would end with this sequence. So five cuts, 
9.77 millimeter I would be at 31.9 and I have to say minus now of the double cut minus 1.4 this is the first absolute value where my new sequence is starting yeah and now simply my next following uh, ultratact sequence is coming up 9.7 knife automat prepared and enter one piece yeah correct seven millimeter knife automat prepared auto trim in this case because it's a double cut and one piece and i'm done cutting program is ready now quite quick with a very uh, good overview very short and i can enlarge the view a little bit on the side here i can see all my additional functions here unfortunately i forgot on many positions to put the additional function in and when i press this button here on the right side i can mark the whole program by touching here above the line everything is marked now in the program and if i go to additional functions now and if i deactivate knife automat prepared and i've activate that again then i get it on every cut position as you can see it's now on every position i'm switching this off now and i'm going quickly through the program if i've missed something ah a double cut um, auto trim is missing very easy and quick to add that later on i'm doing this now and as well auto trim missing scrolling a little bit down and Let's take a look if something else. Yes, auto trim there as well is missing. I'm adding that now. And down there it's okay. And my program is ready now. Touching to the first line and program start and cut.